Have you noticed that the conversation over the last few days or even weeks has shifted from how do we prepare for the coronavirus and protect ourselves from it to how do we prepare ourselves for going back to work and getting our kids back into school and going back to that favorite restaurant? And I think those are important discussions. And I've begun to ask people in our client base, what are you doing now to prepare yourself for the future when the coronavirus is no longer the biggest headline of the day? And so I've come up based on that series of conversations, four things that I think every business should be doing right now. A little bit of background. The coronavirus has really created a worldwide existential reset. You know, we didn't seek this transformation. It found us in the form of a tiny virus. And like any unexpected, say, phone call, the impetus for transformation just appeared. Joseph, Com uh, Joseph Campbell, in his work on the hero's journey, identified patterns in how people and societies transform that show up in our myths and our stories, our movies and our literature. Hamlet, Luke Skywalker, Neo got the call, but so did Rosa Parks, Joan of Arc, and Sally Ride. Getting the call for transformation did not make these people heroes, but how they answered it did. All kinds of heroes in social movements and politics and education, theater, and business reveal to us that successful transformation follows a pattern. And here are four parts of that pattern modified for business that I think every business should be implementing. So number one, adopt a mindset of full accountability. That means certainly we aren't responsible for the virus or the damage it has caused, but if our response comes from a mindset of full accountability, we will remain calm and present, we'll make decisions with a mix, uh, the right mix of facts and input and wisdom. We'll be able to use new ideas. We won't overreact to regain control and we won't overuse our tenacity and become a micromanager and cause more frustration and chaos. We also won't underreact by adopting a wait and see attitude. Number two, find the lessons. As Ram Dass said, we all signed up for the school of life but spend most of our lives complaining about the curriculum. Now is the time to find and document lessons learned. Engage your team and leadership in the discussion by identifying what we are learning about ourselves, each other, crisis management, a new process, a better way to serve our clients, et cetera. It answers the question our souls are asking. Why is this happening? So be the leader who finds and communicates meaning. It would be a real shame if we came out of this crisis and tried to go back to the way things were and learn nothing. Number three, collect stories of good. Spend time sharing the stories of people going above and beyond the call of duty, the ordinary heroes who've, who are modeling the best of humankind. Find random acts of kindness and draw connections back to your culture. Let these stories help reflect who you are and who you're becoming. And then lastly, number four, which is really important, design your future. Before we know it, the crisis will subside, the virus will move on, and the economy will begin to come back. Take your lessons learned, your stories of good, and strategize your future. Begin planting seeds now so that in the next few weeks or months, when they're in full bloom, you'll be able to act accordingly. Don't wait. As history teaches us, the coronavirus is a call for transformation. How we answer the call will have a huge impact on the quality of our lives and if our businesses survive or thrive.